Welcome to Free to Cook. In this episode, we're going to be cooking rabbit stew. This dish is inspired by my favourite trilogy of films, The Lord of the Rings. In a scene from The Two Towers, Smeagol brings Sam and Frodo a couple of rabbits. Much to Smeagol's distress, Sam decides to make a stew using the rabbits. Don't worry, we have potatoes for this dish. To start, you'll need a rabbit. My local butcher, the Fat Lamb and Flying Pig, yeah, that's their real name, so I thought I'd give this recipe a go. First, we need to break the rabbit down into eight pieces. I only broke it down into four pieces, but I had to change it further down the track, so don't make the same mistake as I did. Next, we need to prep all our veg. Rabbit has a gamey chicken flavor, which is mild, so we need to use delicate flavors to complement it. First, roughly chop four shallots, then roughly chop two carrots, Cut three large mushrooms into slices. The mushrooms will give a nice earthy flavor to the stew. Finally, dice two rashes of bacon. We're gonna use a few more ingredients than Sam had in the movie, but it'll help us to create a nice tasty dish. Next, light a chimney of charcoal and set up your barbecue for direct grilling. Place a large cast iron pan over the charcoal. Add a dash of olive oil before browning off all the pieces of rabbit in batches. Once the pieces of rabbit have been browned, set them to one side. Next, add the shallots to the pot. Begin to cook them down. Season with salt. Just as the shallots have started to cook, add your bacon. Cook until the shallots begin to brown. Next, add your carrots. Once the carrots have heated through, add the mushrooms. Then add fresh thyme. Season with freshly ground black pepper. And for a nice kick of flavour, add one heaped tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Deglaze the pot with three cups of chicken stock. Then add one tablespoon of corn flour that has been pre-mixed with water. This will stop any lumps. Season again with salt. Once the chicken stock is heated through, add one and a half cups of double cream. Stir through the cream before adding the rabbit to the pot. Cover with the lid and cook for 45 minutes to an hour, or until the rabbit becomes tender. The stew is thickened a little and the rabbit is nice and tender. To finish it off, add some chopped parsley. All that's left to do is to serve it up. Of course, we're going to be serving these with creamy mashed potatoes. This will make you one happy hobbit. There you have it, rabbit stew. Samwise Ganji would be proud. You might even be able to tempt Smeagol into having a spoon. This stew is great for camping or trying something new. If you can't get your hands on rabbit, chicken would work perfectly instead. If you found this recipe helpful, don't forget to share it, subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and if you have any recipe suggestions, leave them in the comments. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the guys over at Movie Magoos. If you love everything movies, this podcast is one to check out. With the reviews of new release movies every week and specials covering a ton of different topics, these guys are a lot of fun. You'll find the link to their podcast in the description or by searching for them on iTunes.